All right, everybody, welcome to another episode. Actually, our first episode. It would be the first. Of Cult Cocktail, starring Mike and, and Kyle. Kyle. So today, <laughs> we are making a drink that pairs excellent with what Texas movie? Chainsaw Massacre uh, Part 3. That's right, that's why we got the Leather poster face. Yeah. And I'm going to make you a little spin on a cocktail known as the Bloody Mary, which I hear you are a very big fan of. I absolutely despise Bloody Mary. We are going to start with the first thing that every cocktail needs. What is that, Kyle? Alcohol. No, ice. Ice, every good cocktail starts wrong. with ice. So we're gonna fill this glass up as soon as, oh, oh, sticky. There we go, we don't need this. Now, yes, the next thing we're gonna start with is three ounces of vodka. Make it four, if you're putting tomato juice in there. I don't think so, we gotta stick to the recipe. So, what, uh, how'd you, uh, how'd you come up with this cocktail? Was I came up with this cocktail with off the top of my head, and being- it's fucking pouring like a champ, guys. Next thing you need, Two dashes of, how do you pronounce it? Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Really Worcestershire. I always thought it was Worcestershire. What? Here you go, you can, you can look it up. The next thing we're gonna do, about a eh, tablespoon of prepared horseradish. The good stuff. Have now most Bloody ready, Marys folks. have seasoning salt. I have opted for what I think is a Texas favorite, the seasoned salt. Comes with <laughs> a little bit of uh, a little bit of a zing and some yeah, zazz in it. I you put know that on I mean? my steak. That's right. Well, so do they. Yeah. The next thing, a little bit of smoked paprika, give it that kind of barbecue flavor. Shh, quiet, quiet, Kyle. The next thing up, two dashes of hot sauce. You can obviously put more. Oh, fuck me. Look at this guy. God, the way that came out, man. Oh, God, damn. it's hot sauce. Yeah. Next up, just this. a little bit. Of all excuse. Not too much. You don't want to overpower the vodka, the drink. You know what I'm talking about. You all know, here's a fun fact for you, Mike. Um, the one thing that I hate more than Bloody Mary's? Yeah. Olives. Hey! My uh, stomach thing, actually hurts right barbecue now sauce, as you're making We this. are going with a Texas-style <laughs> barbecue sauce because we are doing what movie again? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yep, something it's like that. It's only right. I can't think right now. I'm just staring at this thing. And that we want to put to a try. little, a good, a good dash. Like two tablespoons. Finally, Kyle, the coup de gras. Tomatoes. Uh oh, look, look, we have a problem. Can't show the label. I'm gonna put the rest. Oh my right god, I'm just like there. so not happy right now. Boom! You know, okay. like when I made a drink last week, it was pleasant for everyone. We're gonna give it a good mix. You know, you wanna you wanna get everything together. I like how you think that this is a terrible thing. This is this is mouthwatering to me right now. I love man. Bloody Marys at all times of day. So what's it like having the taste buds of a 90-year-old man? Tastes classic. Okay, finally, I have our little bit of uh, garnish here. It represents the two food sources of Texas, okra and chili con carne. We got Velveeta, we got jalapeno, and we got a little bit of fun fact, gym. If you're keeping track at home, three fun a facts. A snack stick. Uh, third food I hate, fucking okra. I made myself one, Kyle. Are you ready to taste the bloody armadillo? No, my mouth couldn't be drier. Cheers. What do I do with this bullshit here? Ah, uh, you can move it. Let's move it. If you're a fan <coughs> of Bloody Marys, I suggest that you try the bloody armadillo. If you're not, you're gonna look like Kyle. So, uh, and that is our first episode of Cult Cocktails, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as Kyle. Yeah, I really hoped, I, I was really hoping that barbecue sauce would like give me some, some shred of hope, but it, it didn't. It gives that Texas flavor that you can only get from a true Texas cocktail. There's such a thing as Team Fuck Bloody Marys. Well, that was uh, terrible. Uh, tune in next week, guys. We're gonna be uh, doing Friday the 13th part five and we will have a cocktail for you then as well. I will probably make that one, and it will be good. So. Goodbye, everybody. I'm gonna keep drinking my beer.